What is up, everybody? It's your boy, James. I'm in Soul MTG. I bet you can't guess what I'm about to do. I'll give you a hint. It rhymes with... Jominaria... Draft. Draft? That's it. You, you all know. I'm about to play MTGO, Dominaria Intermediate Swiss Draft League. This is going to run like my previous video. I'm going to draft a deck. I'm not going to upload any of the videos. You're just going to guess how well I did with the deck that I picked. And uh, we're going to we're gonna do a raffle. We're going to give away some more winnings. We did our first giveaway uh, video just the other day. It was pretty fun. We gave away three packs of Battle Bond. Hopefully they're good. I mean, Oil True Name Nemesis, you already know you're going to hit that. Let's get into it. We got 13 seconds left. We're taking Zaheed. This card is a bomb, uh, especially if you're playing it, if you're picking it first pack. 5 6 flyer. You take an artifact that you can cast it for four with. Just gotta tap that artifact down. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, so Zaheed, and then we get past some pretty decent stuff here. We see a Cloud Reader Sphinx. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, you scry two. That could be a good follow up to Zaheed, or even if we don't have an artifact. That comes out the turn before. Also like Divination. But Blessed Light. Instant Speed Exile Target Creature or Enchantment. Easy pick. We're taking the Blessed Light. Uh, there's definitely not even... There's no argument with that. If you guys didn't take the Blessed Light, you did it wrong. Alright, Adelie's a Cinderwind. Oh, you're looking spicy with that red mana cost. We're not going to blow you. We're, uh, let's see, so, what cards are insane in this pack? That Wizard's Lightning is pretty sweet. Um, right now, we're, you know, we took a blue card into a white card, so we're not, this is pack one, we're not in anything right now. We got Fire Intervention, dank, we got Wizard's Lightning, dank, and we got the Cinderwing, dank. Um... But, you know, this card is also very tempo, beat up your opponent. Who cares what they play if you're just going to put it back to their hand? Plus, this is a, you know, this is blue. So, this is an easy pick. We're going to take that. Okay, and we see a Song of Fairies. I don't see these that often, which kind of makes me want to take it, but we're not going to. Uh, if anybody knows, this is four mana if you have an artifact. You do have to pay four land, but guess what? If you have three land, and you cast an artifact by the name of Skittering Surveyor to dig up a land, then you tap that Skittering Surveyor, plus the four lands that you got to play this as a heat, you're doing something good. Got a 5-6 flyer. They'll probably use a Blessed Light on it. Who knows? We're going to take the Skittering Surveyor. Digging up lands is good regardless, even if we don't end up playing Zaheed later in the draft. I'm going to make sure we do, though, because Zaheed's just overall, like, very good card. All right, so cards that we're interested in here, not a whole lot. Um, we don't need to play white. Other colors in this pack that are good. I like Run Amok as a combat trick. Navigator's Compass might be our pick, or either, uh, either the Navigator's Compass or Invoke the Divine. I like having at least one sort of... Artifact or enchantment. Woo! Excuse me. Artifact or enchantment removal in the deck. I like having one one card that can deal with it. I think uh, Invoke the Divine is a good pick here. There's no blue in the pack, so we're not really interested in anything else. And then we get past another Academy Journey Mage. So if we don't end up playing white, we play blue red wizards with two Academy Journey Mage. Uh, hopefully Gitu Chronicler comes back around to us, even though I don't think it will. It's probably going to be Academy Journey Mage into Thalid Omnivore into maybe somebody's playing Heroic Matters, but I doubt it. Um, the Journey Mage is an easy pick here for us. We're going to take it. And then we get past another Journey Mage. Did I call it? I didn't. So, we're not playing blue-white. 
Uh, my computer's being a little funky, but you know, it's okay. It's okay. If you want to be funky, computer? We could get funky. I'll deal with it. I never, I didn't ever pass the funk. Cards that we're interested in here. Uh, Power Stone Shard. It's a three drop artifact that can help us get into Zahid. I don't have any problem with that. could also take this basic island because it helps us pay for Zahid, but that seems just dumb. Uh, Talorian Scholars in our colors. What the heck happened? Okay, I guess we're taking Power Stone Shard. My computer is lagging hard. Lagging hard. What is going on right now? Okay, so we got to make some picks. My computer is being, being a piece of junk right now. Uh, what are we interested in this pack? Not a whole lot. We're going to take Befuddle just because it's in our colors. And I kind of just like am worried about what the computer is going to auto pick us. Uh, Key 2 Lava Runner in case we go into uh, Red Blue Wizards. Sure, we'll take another Power Stone Shard. Who knows what we hit later on down the road. Oh, man, so this draft might go uh, the same as the last draft. I, I did a big ol' 0-3. It felt bad, but I had to admit it. You know, I couldn't, like, couldn't lie about the record. I hit a 0-3, y'all. Sometimes you draft decks, and they just don't work, no matter what you put in the deck. Like, who cares if you have six corns in your draft deck? It's just not going to work. Sorry, dude. It's just not that good. Like, you're not good at drafting. Don't take six cards and one creature. Okay? Ooh, we hit that. So you already know. We're doing shit. We're doing shit right. Okay, what is, what's good in this pack? Wizard Retort. I like countering spells. I'm that kind of guy. We also see a divination, so we could draw into, like, things that matter. Precognition field, maybe if we hit like some blink of an eyes, you look at the top card of your library, you can ta uh, cast the top card of your library if it's an instant or sorcery card, or we can just kind of dig through our deck. Is that better than divination? Divination is going to draw us two cards for three, and uh, this might do some more work for us. So if anybody doesn't know, I like drafting for fun, so precognition field it is. Welcome to the team, dude. You're kind of a piece of junk, but I've already picked you now, so there's no going back. Second Skittering Surveyor? Duh. D-U-Y. Duh. Uh, we don't got any creatures to make Tatsuko work well for us. And we already have the one Invoke the Divine. I don't think two is necessary. I mean, we could take a third Power Stone Shard and just, like play that deck but we're not going to all right so are we just playing like artifacts blue because that's what it feels like right now artifacts blue with uh maybe splashing white for instance and sorceries because we took precognition field over cards that are actually good <laughs> howling golem this is a turn three artifact creature that could help us get into zahid it also just helps us draw into answers that we need. Uh, it helps our opponent as well, which kind of sucks. This might be our choice here. I kind of want to just stay in blue. I also like the cold water snapper. Playing against that just sucks. Opponent just cold water snaps. Yeah, it's good. So we have a ton of artifacts, and then someone passes us a trap queen. Okay. That's what you're into. Uh, we see Sage of Latinium. That could be good. Uh, the Void could be good. And then... <laughs> Quinde! Hi, Quinde. I've said it in my previous videos. If you don't look at Quinde and just, just belch that Quinde out, then you're wrong. You're making mistakes. So do we want to sacrifice artifacts to draw cards? I mean, we could just dig through our deck until we hit Zaheed. Cast Zaheed, blow out. Our opponent kills us. Kill Zaheed, just swing in with a bunch of 1-1s. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, I like Sage of Latin Neon here. I also liked that Trap Queen, but we're just kind of doing blue, you know? The first deck I went 3-0 with on MTGO was a monocolor draft deck. 
So I kind of like that. Where, uh... <laughs> Are we just going to make people really happy and, like, hopefully cast this th turn two and then just go heavy with the artifacts and make our opponent, like, mill everything? Or do we play black? We don't. We don't got any good black. We got a Blessed Light and an Invoke the Divine. So if we're splashing a color, red is it. I might be colorblind. I've said this before. But every time I look at white, I say red. If I look at red, I say white. I'm bad. Pretty, pretty bad. B-A-D. Okay, so my computer's being a turd. We're going to take this excavator. We gotta pick something before this thing goes off. Uh, cards in this pack that we're interested in? I mean, I'm playing Mono Blue, so we're gonna take Bird. Bird? Crit Bird. Oh! <laughs> the Antiquities War. Okay. So, the Antiquities War. This works really well with artifacts. We might be happy to see this. It's in our colors. We're going to take it. And uh, I don't want to sack artifacts. So Sage? No. Navigator's Compass? Maybe. I mean, we play Mono Blue. We put Navigator's Compass in. So we could dig into maybe splashing some, some other colors into the deck. I like Navigator's Compass more than the Power Stone Shard in this deck. We got an Arcanist or a third Power Stone Shard. We got a Syncopate for nine million. <laughs> <laughs> sure, we'll scry. Sure, we'll scry six times. Yeah, we'll untap our artifacts that are useless. Come on. Ooh, ooh. This Antiquities War is looking spicy with all these junk artifacts that we're picking up. So, pack three. What could be good for us, pack three? I don't think anything. I don't want that. Just give it to the opponent. Pack three. <laughs> oh, Jengus. Answer my prayers. What is going on right now? We had a Karn sign of Urza. As if we weren't just playing... Yeah, and then a foil damping sphere. Okay. Okay, this is like... I, I don't know the value of cards on MTGO, but... Karn, I mean, you take the Mythic, right? You take the Karn. Jam the Karn. Ah, jamming it. Ah. Do we just piss people off and play, like, Syncpates? Or do we mill them? We don't mill them. Mill never works out. I always want Mill to work out. If it does. Our three drops, though? Look at that. Do we play another Power Stone Shard and just make our opponent Power Stone Shard in their pants? Or Syncopate. Or Divination. The Divination seems pretty good. We got 12 creatures. We got nine. Yeah, I've been picking cards randomly right now. We got 12 creatures. We're going to take a Syncopate. I want to be that guy. Ooh, we might spawn. There's not a whole lot that looks good for us here. I mean, we could scry off this. I lied. Deep Freeze is looking pretty good. Or we just, like, jam. <laughs> Sulfur Falls was the mistake in the last MTGO. Do we just jam Deep Freeze? Or do we just jam Sulfur Falls and, like, play 1v2? No, we're taking Deep Freeze. Easy pick, guys. Come on. Oh, man. And then we see a Giora. When you wish that you got that so Uh, We see Blink of an Eye. We see the Cold Water Snapper. We're going to take Syncopate. <laughs> no, we're not. Uh, Giora. Whenever you cast a Historic Spell, which is Artifacts, you're going to draw a card. I think we're going to take Giora here and just try to jam some red. Can we see the Mirari Conjecture as well? Uh, this is pack three. I doubt a fight with fire is going to come around, even though that is like the bing bang wombo combo of the Mirari Conjecture in a sealed event. So return an instant card from your graveyard to your hand. So that hits a syncopate. 
Uh, return a sorcery card, which uh, that's really nothing in our entire deck. You know, we're pretty creature heavy for what we have going on. We have 900 Power Stone shards. You know, maybe we just play Mono Blue, Splash Red for Giora, Slinvota to send everything back to their hand. Because we have three Power Stone shards that are all going to tap. Get them all out. Divination seems good. The Mirari Jack Conjecture does not seem good for us. We're going to jam a Slim Voda. Ooh. We're going to see a just really good green-blue card come around now. Probably. That's how it usually works. We're splashing red. We can get Halar. We're going to take Hinterland Harbor. There's nothing better for us in this pack. Hinterland Harbor's worth a penny. Where'd you go, Hinterland Harbor? Oh, hello. Alright, we're gonna make some kits in this deck. Uh, sure, we'll take that. Two headed Jengus. I played against an opponent that just jammed a bunch of Navigator's Compasses into a uh, Antiquities War deck, and it worked really well. I mean, if you're gonna dig for a artifact, it has to be cheap to cast, because why the heck not? It's also going to gain you life, plus this allows us to splash for Giora easily, playing three of these. And we're going to be able to scry quite a bit if we play all these, all these birds. Alright, uh, I like Fire Fist deck, but what do we have that's like... We got Artificers, we got a bird, might as well be an Artificer, we got an Artificer. Playing Artificers, we can't play Wizards, makes no sense. Sure, let's take uh, the Arcanist. I don't know if we're interested in that. We're going to take another Power Stone Shard, because why the heck not? Take the Void. We're pretty colorless in this deck. We need like one blue mana just to just to get there, and then we're going to get there. I feel like this deck could be good. This deck might be really good. I'm excited for this, everybody. I'm excited to play it. I want to record the draft videos and uh, load them up to the channel, but that kind of defeats the purpose of what we're doing here, right? I don't lie about it. I'm just going to tell you what my what my draft turned out to be, even if it's spoopy. So we got two Skittering Surveyors, the Splash in Red. Easy. Jora Stain in the deck. Karn, why the heck not? Sure, we got two Mythics at 4-drop. Karn's going to get us there. He's just uh, insanely good. So his negative two is just going to synergize really well with what we're doing with this deck. We're going to put a 0, zero Construct Artifact Creature token. This creature gets plus one, plus one for each artifact you control, which is we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven artifacts. 11 artifacts sure okay we got a lot to cut though so we got 29 main deck cards one of them being a land that puts us at 28 non-land cards we're gonna run 23 because that is what we're going you know that's just the best bet so let's walk through it real quick we don't need four artificers assistance we might not even need two artificers artificers assistance in here but we're going to skip over this. I like the Navigator's Compasses because these fuel Karn, these fuel Giora, these fuel the Antiquities War, which is just overall insanely good. Uh, Sage, if we need to draw into answers, this could be good for us. I don't know if that's what we necessarily want to keep in the deck over... I like the Excavator. I mean, this could, this could get us there with the amount of... With the amount of Historic Spells we just have in this deck overall, I like it better than Sage. I don't want to be sacrificing my artifacts, because the whole point is to just get to the Antiquities War and make them all 5-5s, five or get to Karn and just make a huge creature token. Uh, cards in cards in the 3-drop spot. We have 4 Power Stone Shards. I think we keep them in as much as I don't want to. Right now we're at 25 cards main deck, which means we need to cut two. The Precognition Field, I'm never going to do it again. It's a mistake. There was so much better. There, there was much better cards in that pack for us. Precognition Field was not good at all. 
So that is that is easy. We're taking it out. We don't have any instants or sorceries other than syncopate that we're going to want to cast. Feels pretty good, though, thinking about that, right? Just cast a syncopate off the top of your deck. Syncopates, I get blown out by this card way too often to comfortably put this into the sideboard and side it in if I'm just like, okay, my opponent played a two drop and just destroy me. No, we're just going to keep it in. Slin Voda, uh, you, you know, you're, you were doing a pretty good job, but I think we're just going to put you away. Academy Journey Mage is kind of like a Slin Voda that targets a single creature. I think it does a much better job than Slin Voda. So what are we looking at here? We want to get to turn three with three lands, cast the Skittering Surveyor, have Zaheed, go for the beats, and then just stabilize with the four drop Mythics. I'm digging it. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and play some games. Once this video gets uploaded, the way you are going to partake in the giveaway, you're going to guess my record. In TGO Draft, it is best out of three games. So, if you don't know how to go about this, you're either going to guess a 0-3, a 1-2, a 2-1, or a 3-0. you got four choices. That is a 25% chance. So what happens? You comment, you're going to get entered into a raffle. You comment and get my record correct, you're going to get an extra entry into the raffle. We're going to run that. We're going to give away some cool stuff. The, the only way you are able to receive any prize is if you are subscribed to the channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I will see you all on Raffle Day. Thanks.